Hey guys welcome back to my channel if it's your first time here hi my name is Sarah and thank you so much for stopping by I hope you like it here and I hope you subscribe <laughs> and if you're returning thank you so much for coming back today's video is going to be a what will Sarah do video okay, so I asked you guys for video suggestions and my good friend Natasha I'm going to leave her Instagram somewhere here you guys should go and follow her she sometimes posts amazing content about fitness on her story hopefully she makes it a thing on her page I don't know <laughs> yeah she suggested that I do like a what will Sarah do video so you guys basically tell me situations and I'll answer what I'll do in those situations so I put it up on my story and you guys sent in quite a number of questions and I'm going to be answering those questions today the first question is um, she says please keep me anonymous I'm actually going to be keeping everybody anonymous I won't be calling names what would you do if your boyfriend's mom followed you on Instagram liked and commented on your pictures Wow. Yeah, I feel like if I have met her before, it would be like, oh, thank you, that's nice. <laughs> but then if I have not met her before and then she likes and comments on my pictures, mm -hmm. I won't say I'll be scared, but then I feel like to me, it's just be like, oh, I'm, I'm one step closer to the family. That if it is a boyfriend that you plan to be serious with, it will be like, it will be a good thing for me because it will be like, oh, okay, this is like one step. That means she probably actually likes me already for her to like and comment on my pictures and follow me mm. so that's like one step closer and and that's that kind of makes the whole meeting her process easier so i'll be happy you huh. what would you do if you're going through a difficult time like a breakup okay first of all i have never been through like a bad breakup i don't even think i've been through <laughs> I don't think I've been through a trade breakup before because as far as I'm concerned, this relationship I mean is my first relationship. If I go through a breakup, knowing myself personally, and I'm just judging from like the little fights we've had that have been maybe serious and it's almost like, because I feel like every relationship or every long relationship, because I, I consider my relationship to be long. You know those kind of fights that is almost like, mm, are we going to break up? Mm, yeah, I feel like from those kind of fights, knowing myself what i would do in is if i ever go through a breakup i would do things that make me happy or things that will help me get my mind off it um, i'm not somebody to lie down and be sad and be crying and doing all of that at least when it's like relationship issues instead that is the day that i will make five videos edit 20 videos <laughs> yeah you get what i'm saying like i just always try to i don't want to say i like to run away from my problems but then i kind of like to do that because it kind of helps me it helps me when i shy away or run away from my problems so I, I tend to do things that i like or things that i enjoy doing so i create content that's one thing i really love to do i spend money <laughs> yes that's one bad thing that's my guilty pleasure i love to buy things i love to shop for stuff like spending money gives me joy so yeah i tend to do that especially when i'm tired or when i'm sad or when i'm worked up so that's what just what i would do but then if i was to advise somebody i would also say like you should do things that you enjoy doing to help you take your mind off it and pray about it just pray to god to take that burden away from you because how long can you like especially if it was a relationship that you were heavily invested in or you really thought oh this was this is going to be the one i feel like it's going to be so painful so just pray to god to take away that burden from you what would you do if you fall in love with a guy at university when you already have a boyfriend at home first of all if me if you were very serious with the boyfriend or you really love that your boyfriend like somebody else won't be an option but then i get it i get it sometimes like we're just human i'll weigh the love and see who i love more and break up with the other one simple that's what i'll do honestly that is what i will do <laughs> what would you do what would sarah do if she wakes up one morning and realizes that she never had a youtube channel eh? yeah <laughs> no 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 what would i do if i fight, wake up and realize that i don't i never had a youtube channel guys it would be like my worst nightmare oh then what's happening in my life then what am i doing i've actually ever thought what if everything that's happening right now is a dream and i wake up and i realize that maybe i'm in just one or something damn i'm going to be very sad of course and most likely start a youtube channel because that dream was probably just showing me what i should do with my life so yeah i'll be sad but 
what can I do? Life goes on. What would you do if you reached 1,000, 100,000 subscribers? I'll be so happy. You guys, get me to 100k tomorrow. <laughs> I'll be so happy. 100k is like a big goal for most YouTubers and that would be like a very big milestone for me. I'll be happy. So yeah, get me to 100k. What would you do if you find out that two of your friends are doing sneaky shit behind your back and you want to cut them off but you all are in the same class, same fellowship? same hostel so you're bound to always seeing them wow this is a hard one i don't know if it's a good thing but it's not very hard it's not hard for me to cut people off i think it's not a good thing i'm not somebody to go and say oh let's talk about this what happened this that no i'll cut you off like it's okay bye yeah i'm that person because you guys are always in the same space i know it's not very it's not easy to say oh cut them off cut them off okay yes you, you cut them off but then you're always seeing them everywhere you go first of all i'll say try and confront them if the friendship is actually important to you try and confront them and hear what they have to say i feel like there's no excuse for talking shit behind my back and these aren't even the kind of people you should be keeping in your circle or you should be around don't just like stop talking to them and all that confront them and let them know at least that this is the reason why this is happening and it depends on what the situation is actually next is what would you do if youtube shut down one day oh i'll be very sad i'll be very sad but to be honest life goes on i'll probably continue con creating content on my other social media platforms because there's igtv there's tiktok there's all of that i'll probably continue creating content on those social media platforms when it comes to like financial and everything i'll be good by god's grace because i have other businesses that is why you guys should have side hustles yeah i'm going to make a part two of my side hustles video so you guys should wait for that it's most, it's most likely going to come like after this video maybe two more videos or one more video then that video i'll be good honestly but then i'll be sad because youtube I love YouTube. I love creating YouTube videos and I also love watching YouTube. So, yeah. If you were given two options to stay in Nigeria or move to South Africa, what would you pick? Depends on where in Nigeria. If I had the option to move to where I actually want to live in Nigeria and move to South Africa, I don't know. Like, I don't really have knowledge about um, cities in South Africa. I would pick moving to where I actually want to live in Nigeria to be honest where I live now isn't what, where I actually want to live especially considering what I do I create content and all of that other than that I, I love South Africa I love South Africa and I may just pick South Africa always that saying there's no place like home there's no place like home of course those thoughts to be like will i be welcome there like in my head i'll be like okay when i go and start creating when i go there of course i'll continue what i'm doing like will i be welcome there will the industry like will i fit into the industry because i'm nigerian obviously my accent everything just sells me out that i am nigerian like will i be welcome there do you get because i've never really seen or heard of any content creator in nigerian content creator in south africa so those thoughts will be there so eh, i might be skeptical but south africa is somewhere i would love to live guys i always say this but this is such a tough question i don't know yet <laughs> what would you change if you had the opportunity to go back 10 years in time 10 years rah, 10 years that's like 10 years should be 2012 that was when i created my first youtube channel and i posted my first youtube video i was 12 years old yeah when i posted and created my first youtube video and channel um and you guys probably don't even know this but then i had a youtube channel in 2012 which i probably posted only like four videos i was still in secondary school that time nobody knew about this youtube channel and then i deleted the youtube channel so if i could go back in 10 is exactly yeah if i could go back i wouldn't delete that youtube channel i'll probably just continue from there because yeah maybe i would have who knows i would have been on like 300k subscribers now only god knows because <laughs> the first video i posted was actually a very stupid video it was how to style your relaxed hair and i just packed my hair up and i left my hair down i let some it was just something very stupid but then i got like over 1000 views so you can imagine if i continue that time so yeah i'll probably not delete that channel that's one thing i would have done yeah. you want to move out because you need to but you have a difficult family that doesn't understand i i totally understand this question it's not very easy to convince nigerian parents that you want to move out 
of your house what would i do i would save 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 i would save to the point that because i'm somebody that doesn't like to ask people for shit and i don't like being in emergency situations so i'll save as much as i think i need i'll do my research on where i want to move out to and how life is going to be take note that when you're in your parents house you don't really have to worry about food light um rent or all of those basic things but then when you move out and you're on your own you have to worry about those things so i'll make sure that i have at least a stable stable source of income that i know can cover all my basic needs or at least i know i have money saved that will cover all those things for at least i'll say at least six months before you get back on your feet yes it's going to be hard to to convince them but i will do it and i feel like when you do it and they see that oh you don't need their help you're good and you're actually doing something with your life like they would have to come to the terms that oh okay she's actually grown and maybe she made the right decision because i feel like moving out is just a lot of money yeah a lot of money and a lot of stress so just make sure you're ready financially so that so that way you don't have to ask them for anything so that they know that oh and at least have like valid reasons why you want to move out what will sarah do if she has a boyfriend that is not broke but he doesn't like to give his girlfriend anything hey i will still <laughs> I would take it by force on a more serious note. I would talk to him. I feel like some people that have money but don't give just don't know how to give sometimes. Sometimes some people are just naturally stingy or naturally greedy. But then some people just don't think you need it or they don't know how to give somebody without the person asking i think first of all because you're my boyfriend i feel like we've come to a certain level of understanding because you're my boyfriend. You can't be my boyfriend if we're not yeah so i'll talk to you i'll say oh you don't give me money not like he's meant to give you or he's obligated to give you money for those things but then it would be nice if you get money from your boyfriend to do all those things especially when he has money because from this question you're asking i will tell you what's up you're not doing this and you have the money it's not like you don't have the money if he doesn't take action or if he doesn't do anything or nothing changes um i may walk it walk away from this relationship because as much as many people will say oh is it because of money you leave a relationship money is a very big factor in relationships guys money is a big factor in relationships if he's not giving you money now is it when you put married that you think he'll give you money or you think you take care of the basic needs or whatever so yeah i feel like I don't want to say this is enough reason for you, for you to walk away but because sometimes you can be like oh i love this person so much and we're so invested in this relationship then i think if he actually loves you and cares about you and he has money he will do the stuff you want him to do or he'll at least do stuff for you yeah so what will sarah do i'll talk to him if nothing changes since i'm walking away like it doesn't matter if i have my own money sometimes what would you do if you mistakenly get pregnant? Do they mistakenly get pregnant? There's no mistake. There's no mistake in getting pregnant. If you go for it, how did you get pregnant? How did you get there? <laughs> There's no mistake in getting pregnant. What will Sarah do? I'll give it to the baby now. What what will I do? What what can I do? <laughs> How do you make your friends see that her boyfriend is ma manipulating her and is not love? Hmm. This is a hard question because sometimes when you decide to go and enter relationship wahala let me tell you this once when sometimes when you decide to go and enter relationship wahala and you think oh you're trying to advise the friend that oh you should walk away from this relationship they will both turn against you and sometimes to be honest it's not good to enter people's relationship like it's not good to enter between their relationship because tomorrow it's going to be the both of them against you but i get what you're saying try talking to her as a friend yeah try to make her understand that everything you're saying and everything you're telling her is because you care and just make sure that you have i don't want to say evidence or whatever but just make sure that you have solid reasons because it's very hard to convince somebody in love yeah it's very hard to convince those kind of people that um, uh, this person is deceiving you or i'll just try to talk to her and give her my reasons and say oh so and so doesn't like you because so 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 and so i don't think so i don't think this relationship is right for you because so and so and so 
and yeah it's honestly up to her to make her choice what would you do differently if you were starting a youtube channel now i'll stop giving excuses i'll stop postponing i'll stop saying oh i'll start when i have this camera that phone this this that and that this microphone this that now stop doing that and i'll just start i honestly just start that's one thing i always tell people that want to start youtube channels don't wait until you have phone camera this that um no just start honestly i'll promote myself more for the first few months when i was in you on youtube nobody really knew that i was on youtube I was just doing it anonymously and getting my two, three views that this YouTube channel. So yeah. So this is going to be the last question I'll be answering because I don't want this to be too long. I'll text because mine is long, no problem. So I have been so I've been having a huge crush on this guy. He's in my DMs and all. He usually starts conversations like he would randomly dm me and tell me how he wants to see me and all he comments on my pictures like sometimes hyping me hyping me up but then he doesn't make it clear if he likes me he doesn't say it or do stuff that make it seem like he likes me but i don't know if he doesn't want to seem desperate or maybe i'm just expecting too much or he just doesn't like me he's just being nice what would you do would you just move on or say something okay i love this question <laughs> what would sarah do okay if he has been saying he wants to see me and all that i don't know if you guys have met but i would personally agree to see if you want to see me that if we're in the same country or in the same city or something if we're not in the same city i'll tell you come and see me you want to see me come and see me but then if he actually travels and comes and sees you then you know that at least like he has feelings or something so uh, I agree to see him or go out to him. All these things are happening and he's still not saying anything. I've heard a lot of girls say, oh, I would never be the one to tell a guy I like him. I pride this too much. I can't tell a guy I like him, blah, blah, blah. But me, I'll tell you, guys, you only have one life. You only have one life. So I will tell you, I like you. This is how I feel about you. And this, 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 this. I think I like you. What do you have to say about that? He doesn't like me back or... If he doesn't like me back, then life goes on. Life goes on. Nobody's dead except he's an asshole and then he goes around telling people, Oh, Sarah said she likes me and I don't like her back. Uh, blah, blah, blah. No. And I know that. I know you're asking this question. I know you won't go for this kind of people. Like, eh. Me, I will tell him. But then, of course, I won't like straight up just say it. I like you. I'll make sure we're having a conversation and then somehow it leads to that. But if he's just your online friend, I'll say if you have the opportunity to meet him, try and meet him. Because I feel like talking to somebody on phone is totally different from actually talking to that person. Or you guys can move from Instagram to FaceTime. Yeah, that's not what I'm saying yeah that's what i would do i'll tell him i like him i'll say something i feel like some guys just don't know how to say it. some guys just don't know how to tell a girl and there's nothing wrong to me there's nothing wrong with a girl me i'll tell you i've never told anybody i've never been the first to say it but then if i ever find myself in that situation or if i ever had the opportunity or if i ever found myself in that kind of situation i will tell you i like you what do you have to say about that? I like you. There's nothing wrong with that. The thing I won't do is beg a guy, like beg for a guy's love or anything. No, I won't beg for a guy's love. No. No, and you shouldn't too. Yeah, but I don't see anything wrong with telling a guy that you like him. Maybe he, you know if he likes you too. Yeah. And if he doesn't like you, it's fine. It's not the end of the world. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Let me know if you guys want to see more videos like this and then we'll make it a thing on my channel. I think we'll call it What Will Sarah Do? I love that. <laughs> yeah. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.